What's up geeks and gamers, my name is Draymond and welcome to Thorium Gaming, and it's time to get our Merc on again. So, we suffered a little bit of damage last time. And apparently the background noise is trying to overwhelm me this time. Anyway, I've refitted our quick draw with another medium laser in its left arm. Our griffin's still being worked on. Chaplin and I are still out of action for a little bit. But if we look at the contracts, we can see what we can do for the meantime that shouldn't be too bad. A two and a half drop, an assassinate on the highlands would be good. But before we do that, let's go in and check with our mech warriors to see what we can do to upgrade them. Bloodwind, we're definitely going to get you some more base weapon hit. And some more piloting will be good for you. Chaplin will make you a little bit better on the shot. I'm going to wait for breaching shot for me. Dian, let's get you some more guts so that your recoil penalty is down. Phoenix can't do anything right now. And Ryan, the next two that are up are either Master Tactician or Ace Pilot. And I think we want Ace Pilot for her, so we're going to grab the next level of piloting. She's going to probably still be rocking her Enforcer, so we don't have to worry about that too much. But let's go and do this Assassinate mission, since we're still waiting on Lady Arano. What we can do... We're sitting at 2 right now, so... A Centurion, it's got an AC-10, it's got LRMs, it's mid-range. Could go with the Shadowhawk. Let's check their firepower rating, the... Centurion's definitely better. They have the same average range. Yeah, we'll go with the Centurion. Throw die in there. So that's three drop tons. It should work for us. Alright, so Commander, this is the region where we've been asked to patrol as part of the net. Our employers need us to keep an eye out for prop the propaganda agent, as this is one possible escape route she might take. If she's in this region, we need to find her and take her out, then we can evac. Right. So she'll have some supporting enemy forces. Let's take a quick look at what we're going to be running into. Are these supporting forces actually over here already? If we can engage them first... It'll give us a distinct advantage, but that means going up this road. It's a bit of a tough call, but I think we're just going to have to kind of barrel down the center and deal with it. Make sure the Enforcer is up front, because Ryan's a tough one. Not getting any sensor contacts just yet, so we should be okay. Of course, Phoenix is rocking his dragon. Heading out. Copy that. And we finally have enemy contacts on radar. So I wonder what we're going to be up against. Okay, we got a vehicle and a mech for sure. Medium mech, given that it's in initiative three. Yes, Since it moved... On my way. Ryan, let's just get you a little bit closer and see if you can sensor lock him. It's a Wolverine. You actually have a fairly good chance to hit it as is. Taking the shot. It didn't get any evasion. Granted, you didn't do a lot of damage to Iran, but 
It's a little bit. And now your sensor locked. It's a good thing your enforcer is tough as all hell. Alright, die. Take your centurion on the left. Keep it inside the trees. Locking on target. He is braced, so he's not taking nearly as much damage as he should be. That was a fair amount of missiles. Kind of curious as to what they got way up there. Could be affecting us. And Blood, we're going to try and keep the your Jager mech out of direct combat this time, since we've been losing a lot of auto cannons. Aye, aye. What we need to do is get close enough to melee him down if he bulwarks again next turn. I don't think he will. But we got to charge up the pipe, essentially. Taking this highway has limited us in a lot of ways. We don't know if that vehicle is a heavy or not. It probably is. It's got a PPC and some LRMs, so we kind of know what we're dealing with. Awaiting orders. All right, and let's get you up on the hill here, and let's see what it actually is. A manticore. Let's check the info on it. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. But we're going to use a precision strike to knock this wolverine down. At least one initiative step. And now he is exposed on his right shoulder. There's got to be another medium out there. System's holding. Don't sound so cheerful, Ryan. You are getting shot at. Commander. All right, let's get our Centurion just a little bit closer, and hopefully Die can punch through that right side. Actually, she can split fire between the two of them. Engaging multiple targets. There's a hit under the armor. If we can knock out all of the supporting forces right now, then we're in a pretty decent position. Hopefully this Wolverine's going to shoot and not dig in. Commander, I'm hit. Okay, so Ryan just took a headshot. Yes, I think all that guy has succeeded in doing is making the lady angry. Don't make her angry, she's like She-Hulk. You won't like her when she's angry. She's mean. Roger. All right, so their Manticore. Oh, there's another medium. That might be our target, and we have to prevent him from running. So we're going to try and eliminate all of the supporting forces first, and then go after the target. Alright, Phoenix, give us some good news here. Right arm, right torso destroyed? Definitely works. That's a pilot injury. Another heavy vehicle, and we still have to deal with that mana core. Wow, that's a second headshot to Ryan. Ryan, what I think we're going to get you to do is jump to give yourself as much evasion as possible. 
since you're not very high on heat yet. And pump a lot of damage into that right side. Target's taking a critical hit. Wolverine's really not running away from us too much. But he's staying just far enough away to be annoying. So let's see if our Centurion can get some lucky hits in. I'm not expecting too much. Firing full complement on enemy. Alright, Bloodwind. Can you finish him off, please? He's really starting to frustrate me, and Ryan's taking two hits to the head, so... I'd rather not have a Wolverine up there eating up all of our fire for multiple turns. There's another heat sink gone. And he's definitely unsteady. Watch my six! Alright, so now Ryan's kind of in a tricky situation, but we can deal with it. Phoenix, we need you to death blow this guy. We need you to core him, like right now. Taking the shot. That is exactly what I wanted you to do, Phoenix. Good job. And I believe he just got within melee range. So... That could be a definite plus. Commander. Ryan, because you're kind of getting hurt a little bit, I don't want to expose your back to him any more than we have to. We're going to jump you over here, and then we're going to sensor lock something. Can you actually sensor lock him? He should be within range. So we can at least see what he's in. He's in a thunderbolt. Great. He's in a bloody thunderbolt. That better not be another Wolverine. Because that would suck. Alright, die. You do have split fire. But I want to kill that manticore. Get rid of that PPC. Particle projector cannons are a pain in the butt. So let's see if we can knock it out. Copy that. Not as much damage as I was hoping for. We can deal with a few missile strikes right now. Alright, blood. Get a little bit closer with those auto cannons of yours. Please kill the Manticore. That is precisely what I wanted. One for the scrap heat. That should be their Okay, so it's not a super heavy, it's just a heavy vehicle. So let's see what mech we're up against here. A Centurion! Alright, so Phoenix, we're actually going to get you to Precision Strike him. Slow him down a little bit. Aim for that auto cannon arm. I think it's his right arm. I think this time we're going to start off with die since we have all of our people on a better initiative phase, so to speak. 
It's not really, but it doesn't hurt us. If we click off our missiles, do another precision strike on this guy, we should be able to finish him before it gets to his turn. Brings me back memories of seeing Raju get hurt. Standing by. All right, and hopefully you'll be able to fire a fair amount of your weapons right now. Pretty much everything. Affirmative. We'll take a torso destroyed. That hurts him. Takes away some of his weaponry. Now, the Thunderbolt should be moving. It's okay if they hit the Centurion a bit. It's going to suck that Ryan's going to be out for a while. She is an excellent scout. Alright, Bloodwind, can you get line of sight on him? You can get line of sight on him. Not very good line of sight, but enough. All weapons go. Come on, do something good. Not perfect, but we did crit a medium laser. Slowly winding down his weaponry. Saw that for a second, but we didn't get full line of sight on it. Now, Phoenix, you can melee him, so why don't you go in for the full frontal attack? Wow, Phoenix is on a mech killing roll this mission! That'll drop his heat a fair bit. Awaiting orders. Ryan, your heat is almost critical. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump you to keep evasion and put a sensor lock on this vehicle down here. It's a bulldog. Large laser and some SRMs. Good to go. Not exactly the height of a threat, but close enough, to be perfectly honest. Position confirmed. And if we use a precision strike on it, everybody will get to go before it does. Oh, helps if we activate our missiles to fire our missiles. Come on, Dre, keep up with the interface. It's not that hard. The only thing is our Jager mech is kind of out of position. Since we haven't actually shot at our target just yet, we should have enough time to finish off all of these reinforcements before he starts booking it. We can run everybody to catch up if we need to. Alright, Blood Alpha Strike him. Good job. That takes care of the supporting forces. Completely blown past his armor, too. So right now, Phoenix has two mech kills. Bloodwind has two vehicle kills. Ryan has two head injuries. And, uh, Dai is twice as cool as she was last mission? I, I, I don't know. I got nothing for that one. We're going to sprint, try and keep our evasion up and move towards this Thunderbolt, see if we can get in range of him to really cause him some problems. We'll wait till we can gang up on him and fire everything we got all at once. Standing by. He does have a fair number of LRMs because of that right shoulder of his. I'd love to be able to blow his legs out. Because then we could salvage him and get what is essentially a great missile boat to swap Bloodwind from this Jager mech. You never know, we might get lucky. Alright, Ryan, your heat's gone down a fair bit. If we jump and sensor lock you, we should, in theory, be able to start laying into this guy this turn. And if we precision strike with the Centurion, our heavies will go before him.
18% on the right leg, right torso. If we try and take out those missiles. And there's a head hit, so that's a pilot injury. That actually really works towards our favor if we want to try and salvage this guy completely. Speed blood went up a little bit. Yes, Commander. I don't know if we can actually go through that little pass, but we're gonna find out. Firing on target. Alright, so he's entrenching himself, so he's not running yet. Actually, Ryan, can we get you on top of this hill? Affirmative. Keep your evasion stacks really, really high. Got a lock. Have you sensor lock him for us, and we'll split our heavies left and right. We'll send the Centurion with Bloodwind, so she has some ablative cover because the Jaeger's not that strong, and we'll send a Dragon around the other side. He's still not running, running, so... He's still guarding and entrenching himself. Heading out. But he's not trying to bug out just yet. Roger. We need a few more better hits than that. should put some jump jets on the Jaeger if it can handle it. That would make this a lot easier, get her up high and start sniping. As it is, she's going to clear him on the next turn. Commander. So, Ryan... That's actually down off of the cliff. Doesn't make sense to jump you. It gives you two evasion, though. I think what we're actually going to do... Sensor lock. Eh. Actually, it's probably better if we just start pumping some fire into this guy. So let's bump Ryan up here and then precision shot him. Who knows? You might get the headshot. And now he's at initiative one, so all of our other people can go before he can. Confirmed. What we're hoping for is some significant damage to him as we clear this side, and then Phoenix can start closing for some melee. We've got his armor down fairly significantly, which is pretty awesome. And there we go, Bloodwind's cleared the mountains, so she can start shooting. And she is on his right side, so that's the torso that's kind of hurt. And we've gotten past his armor. Phoenix, are you actually in melee range yet? You are not. But we can run you a little bit closer. Give you some major accuracy on your shorter range weapons. And he's still not trying to bug out. But he is chewing through Bloodwind's armor. Took a hard hit there. Our target is bugging out. Stop it before it gets away. Tough call. But Ryan, you can get behind him where his armor is weaker. And melee him next turn if you're able to. No big explosions or fancy colors just yet. Copy that. But our Centurion can clear this corner. Hopefully won't lose anything off our Jaeger mech. That would suck. Here it comes. Or we could just core him. 
Alright, target eliminated. We can clean up any remaining hostiles or head for the evac zone. It was an ammo explosion that caused it. Alright, so apparently there may have been reinforcements coming that we weren't aware about. So let's sprint towards the evac zone. Got it. Move order confirmed. I'll just speed that up a little bit. Can't even see what's left of the Thunderbolt. Move order received. All we're really taking away from this is a really, really bad headache for Ryan. And I only say that because it hit her in the head. Not because it actually hit her in the head. It hit her mech. Aye, aye. Moving out. Copy that. It is nice to go a little bit cinematic and see all of our mechs try to line up and go through pretty decently. This should bring everyone into the evac nope. zone. On my way. Location confirmed. On the move. Waiting for orders. And there we go. Uh, apparently there was a glitch with that vehicle, so it wasn't letting us bug out immediately. Alright, so mission accomplished. The propagandist is dead. Mission successful. Now I wonder if that ammo explosion cored it, or if it just hurt it. I would really like to see more than one piece of scrap. Uh, we just got one. But we can check the store, and if there's one S or 5S that's available there... We'll grab it, and then we'll have a Thunderbolt. I very doubt that it'll happen. Alright, so I have finalized the details for our trip to our true Commander. With luck, the map Dr. Maraud discovered will lead us straight to Castle Nautilus. The contract is ready for review in the Command Center. I think we'll be saving that till next week. We'll do another contract or two. But first things first, let's check the store... I'm not seeing any Thunderbolt parts. That kind of sucks. It's an SRM2++, but with plus 4 damage, it's only an SRM2, though. Maybe when we get a good brawler for Phoenix. So we might as well buy that. And mechs, it's just your typical stuff. But let's go to our mech bay and see if any of our mechs need repairing, which they don't. We still have a few days left on our quick draw and our Griffin. Can't wait till this Griffin's up and running. Let's check out our mech warriors, though. Because with Ryan out, that puts us down to three active mech warriors. Let's actually get Bloodwin another point in guts. I live to serve. Um, we'll grab another point in piloting for me. No, wait, we were saving for breaching shot, which is important. But we can slightly upgrade Dai's ability to shoot. Ready to get it on. Uh, it's either Ace Pilot or Coolant Vent. Uh, it's going to be Ace Pilot. Since we're going for melee anyway. Makes him all the deadlier. And Ryan? Yes, we will go for its Master Tactician. Or Ace Pilot. It's kind of a toss-up between the two. Both are really, really, really good. But with two pilots down, that does limit us to what we can do. So, I think we're just going to let this play out a little bit, since Ryan is out for over a month. If we can get Chaplin back at least, then we'll be good. And we got our Griffin up. And in two days, we got our Quick Draw back. Now a week for Chaplin to put whatever he's taken apart on the ship back together. Oh, doctor's orders. As you're on your way to the med bay for an evaluation, you hear Ryan die shouting and then a loud metallic crash. Commander Ryan calls as you enter. How nice of you to join us. She rises halfway out of the bed, trailing a tangled rope of tubes and wires. Why does it not surprise me, Ryan? The senior doctor turns on you, flushed and angry. Commander, your mech warrior refuses to follow the recovery regimen. Die lounges in a nearby chair. How come you're running around the ship? You're hurt too. Huh. You know what? Let's get Ryan into a simulator while she recovers. So, Die, I'm up and about because I have a mercenary company to run. Unlike you, my job doesn't stop when I'm not in a mech. 
You turn to the doctor. I respect the challenges you face here, but clearly Ryan is going a little stir-crazy. I would love to comment here, but Ryan would probably smack me. And it wouldn't feel nice. Perhaps she could spend some time each day in the training modules. The doctor's tightened lips communicate with her. Yeah, communicate displeasure, but she keeps those words to herself. Very well, Commander. We'll need her on her feet soon enough. Walking to the training room and back won't be any different than doing laps in the hallway. So Ryan and Di both gained 50 experience. That's not bad. Yeah, we'll wait the extra three days and get me back into the fight here. So we could go for the grave robbing contract. But I think we're going to do... It's at Artrue, and that's at Weldry. Let's take a quick look at the star map and see where they are. So the priority mission is there. Deep within enemy territory. And Weldry is completely the opposite way. There's a former Star League presence on Smithian. It might have some good stuff to buy. Mechter is probably the best place to go for scrap and everything right now. And Artru has a Comstar presence. You know what? Let's just travel it. Don't think we'll get into that fight fully today, or we might... Uh, it's hard to say. That's the opposite direction, so is that. Let's go to Weldry first, earn a little bit more coin, and then we'll head out to do the mission next time. Which will mean anything that gets blown up, banged up, or hurt on our way from Weldry to there will be more than ready to be repaired when we drop into what could be the most hostile environment we're going to face. I mean, we're going after SLDF tech here. A castle. It's not exactly a great plan if you're fond of breathing. Alright, so there's our financial report. We're going to leave it at zero, because while I would love more precision shots, we can't really slay too much money for that. And yes, I said slay money. I don't know why. Say, like, we can't spend. We have to save that money. I kind of came out as one word. So we're going to go with that. But Ryan will be back up by the time we get to Weldry. So... No more simulators, we can get right back to a real cockpit. Let's check the store real quick before we drop down to the surface. Lots of dragon... There's more enforcers, but we don't need another enforcer right now. Nothing really too great. So let's launch our contract here. It is just a battle. So let's drop Die and the Centurion out. And I'll grab the Quick Draw. We can drop the Jager Mech for Griffin. Give Bloodwind a little bit more missile ability and a little bit more mobility in general. Keep her long range. A couple of medium lasers and an LRM-20. Really counting on those LRMs. May not exactly work, and we may want to put her in the Jaeger later on, but for now, this will work. Alright, so we've got solid intel that the enemy lances in the region. Sweep the area, find them, and clear them out. Gotta love battles. They're pretty straightforward. Not liking the look of that valley, though. Aye, aye. Copy that. On the move. We'll see how it works out. I mean, it could be great, it could be bad. You never really know. I just don't want to be climbing up all this rough terrain or this icy stuff when we actually engage the scout lands. So what we're going to do, Ryan, you're probably going to pick up radar contacts on this one. Confirming new bogey. 
Here's three anime max. Moving to position. That's right on a geothermal vent, but I want Bloodwind up here. It's those missiles on her shoulder that are going to make that griffin evil. They usually mount LRM-10s. Okay, so that's a light mech. It's a very unfortunate light mech. Let's see if you can get line of sight on it, Ryan. Oh, a poor little baby locust, and it doesn't even have any evasion. Structure exposed and a medium laser crit all in one go. So we got two mediums. And reinforcements. Alright, so we're going to have to deal with those mechs up on the hill as quickly as possible. So Blood, we're going to get you to jump. Which is an advantage the Griffin has over the Jaeger you were piloting recently. And there goes its medium laser and its right arm. Ryan's in a little bit of heat, but she has a ton of evasion. So there are reinforcements. I don't know exactly what mediums we're going to be facing, but there's something out there. Another Wolverine? Damage minimal. We might have to jump Ryan back out a little bit. And a laser hunchback. Still just hitting the armor, though. Something with two large lasers. That might be a bit of a threat. We're going to have to get Ryan out of there. Which means blowing up this poor little locust. I'm sorry, Mr. Locust, but you got to die. So I'm not even going to split fire. I'm just going to unload this quick draw into it. All that way Ryan can go first or second on her turn. Or next round, anyway. And then we can get her over behind the heavies and let the heavies soak up some of the damage. They have a lot of evasion. I think it's the Hunchback that's going to be the biggest threat this time. All those lasers on an Arctic map is definitely something a bonus for them. Wow, I swear the logic in my head is working. And that's threatening to get around behind Ryan, so we definitely got to jump her out of there. System's holding. She sounds so cheerful when she's getting shot at. So let's just jump you over here, Ryan. Face your left side towards him a little bit. And then we'll precision strike this hunchback. Drop one of the lasers so that we can do it. Go for that right torso. You eliminate that, you knock off almost all of its good weaponry. And then we can try and fight these things piecemeal. So it's going to be acting on the heavy phase. Affirmative. Let's get our griffin into the forest for some more cover. And unload a lot of missiles at it. I copy. That blew up a heat sink and opened its armor up. So if it doesn't back off, it's going to get in range of the quick draw and our dragon. Damage 
And there's whatever has the heavy lasers. Gonna have to move myself and probably get this kill selfishly. Because... I do not want to lose any more armor. We can turn a little bit. With any luck, this will take out the torso. Right arm, right torso destroyed. Side torso with a pilot injury. Means he's down a lot of weapons. A medium laser is pretty much all he has right now. Yes, Commander. Uh, Phoenix, no matter where you... Well, right there. What am I saying? I was about to say, no matter where you go, you're going to be out of cover. But here, you're actually in a good spot. See if you can knock him out. We know there's three enemy mechs on this phase. And that's a 50 ton with two heavy lasers. Large lasers. Why do I keep saying heavy? Too used to other games that use heavy, medium, light, and not small, medium, large. Commander. Ryan, we're going to jump you over here. Prepping for jump. And you're going to lay into him. That AC-10 should be able to do a lot of damage. Did 68 to his center torso? And then he wasted his, ma er, his medium in reply to shoot at you when you had almost maximum evasion. Yes, Commander. Blood, can you get up to that second level forest? You can. Roger that. I love jump jet equipped mechs. I honestly do. Firing. And there's a hunchback down. So that's one less target we have to deal with. It means our heavies can start either focusing on that Wolverine or see what's got those large lasers. And whatever that is has a PPC. And missiles. So Vindicator maybe? There's the Wolverine moving. Is it moving closer to us? Oh, Ryan's structure got exposed. That's different. Internal structure damage. Don't panic just yet, Ryan. You're never really in danger. And I really want to see what that... It's a crab! Now those are tough mechs. Commander, I'm wounded. All right, Phoenix, there's no way for you to close to melee range, but we have to kill that crab. It means we got to get around behind it. We're going to precision strike the Wolverine, see if we can knock its torso out. Doesn't look like we could. And if I move over here, I'm still pretty high on heat, but I should be able to fire most of my lasers. Hoping, anyway. I can fire a full complement. A Wolverine can't have too much armor left all around. That's got to be a Vindicator. Systems holding. Ryan is still running really, really, really hot. And it was her right leg that took the hit. Orders. Bloodwin, you're not really running hot at all. If we jump you up here... Hi. I'll give you a right-on shot to that Wolverine and a shot at its autocannon. But that really screws up your missiles, so why don't you take a shot at the crab? 
Okay, they haven't fully armored that crab. If they had, that would have done nothing. Crabs are incredibly tough machines. And Ryan? We're just going to jump you up here, and then we'll probably brace you or give you vigilance. We're just going to brace and cool you off. And now they're in the crappy spot at the bottom of the valley. You do have to worry about the crabs getting into melee, though. They tend to hit pretty hard in melee because those clicker claws they've got on each hand. Alright, Phoenix, do your thing with the punching. That is a damn good job. Some heavy Knocked off an arm. And then the fool ran out into the open, which may or may not give me a melee shot because I'm probably running pretty hot myself. Let's see what their mediums do. Still missing with that particle cannon. Aye, aye. Ryan, you're capable of meleeing too, and it might just be a good idea to kick out your heat and do some damage at the same time. Let's see how you like this. Then Bloodwind might have to do the same thing because she's running hot after jumping all that much. Damage minimal. It's amazing how often we're getting into fist fights with mechs. Roger. Gaging. There's a torso hit. That's going to hurt him. Should nuke most of his or her heat. Ooh, and that blew past my armor. That was the crab. I'm hoping it was the crab that was on top of the hill, and then we don't have a second one to deal with. All right, Phoenix. Moving to position. You want to go? Let's go. It's a pretty heavy hit. And me, I'm going to see if I can get around behind this guy. And put my left I need to make sure that my left side is what's facing out. It's not going to really work if I get It might. I just don't want to lose any lasers. It's probably a better idea to walk and fire. We're going to precision strike him just to see if we can eliminate him. There we go, Wolverine down. Where's that crab going? Okay, so that was two crabs, I'm pretty sure. Commander. Which is not exactly good for us. Ryan, is there a place in cover we can get you behind him? Where you can hit him and not too badly expose yourself. 
That'll work. Go for the center torso. Oh, and I didn't activate all your weapons. Well, that was an oops. Alright, Bloodwin, same sort of thing. Here we go. I really want to knock that crab out of this fight. Because they're tough. That should be coming down within his rear arc. So we got a Hunchback, a Shadow Hawk. Last one's probably a Vindicator. I'm hoping it's a Vindicator. Minimal damage on that hit. And that might have been the other thing firing the two heavies. Or large lasers. Ow, that's a lot of armor being leached off. Losing armor left and right here. Standing by. Alright, Phoenix. Perm. Do your melee thing and smash this crap. I'll take a knockdown. It's not perfect. But it's another pilot injury and an initiative drop to one. Which means I can probably come up here and core the bugger. Oh, 50-50 shot on his center torso. No more crab. No more large lasers, and no more really tough bastard. Now we just gotta deal with these guys. That's jumping, that's gotta be a Vindicator. Alright, so out of these three, it's the... Um, Hunchback. Wow, my brain just stopped working for a second there. It's the Hunchback that's actually the real threat. So let's jump Ryan over here. And it is a Vindicator. Let's make sure we activate all of your lasers this time. And here comes a Shadow Hawk. It only fired one laser though, it's gotta be running high on heat then. Commander. And Bloodwind. Can't tell if that's gonna give you full line of sight or only missile LOS. Is there a place where we can jump you? Right there will give you full Full line of sight on the Hunchback's right side, and that's what we want. Can't precision strike him, which sucks. Confirmed. But we can lay into him. And he's probably going to unleash a tirade of lasers. Ooh, we just lost an arm and a torso. Really hurts. Weapon system down. Alright, so that kind of sucked. That's the hunchback right there. I want to keep the left side facing as much as possible. There goes one of his heat sinks. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Waiting for orders. All Phoenix has left is 28 shots. Wow, we lost his LRMs and his lasers. We do want to face the right side towards the enemy now though. Can't melee. So let's just keep his right side facing. 
So that big gaping hole in his dragon isn't exposed. And hope for some heavy damage off an auto cannon, which didn't really happen. The Vindicator didn't fire everything it had. Waiting for orders. All right, Bloodwind, we got to move you again to get line of sight on this guy. Running pretty hot right now. But if you go for that right torso with everything. A right leg works. That'll drop him down to initiative one. That hunchback's pretty much done. Let's see what their shadow hawk does. Ooh, we just lost a heavy jump jet on the quick draw. With any luck, we'll be able to sort this, though. Alright, Ryan, go for that torso shot. Alright, so that hunchback is pretty much crippled now. Does it even have any weapons left is a real question. Medium laser and a small laser. Commander. All right, Phoenix, go in and see if you can smack that Shadowhawk. And you blew up a right arm. Reporting critical hit. And he's unsteady now, too. I want to keep as much of my left facing these guys as possible, because the right side's a little banged up. Let's do some split fire here. So we'll swap you to B, swap you to B, swap you to B. Engaging multiple targets. Didn't exactly kill him, but didn't feel nice for him either. It's going to be the... the hunchback's going to go on? I thought it already moved this turn. That's not fair. And he's going to melee me. Hopefully this does no damage. Right arm and right torso. Great. There's some more lasers we got to fix. Alright, Ryan. You're not even in melee range of them. Great. Roger that. Let's move you over here. Fire everything but a medium laser. Well, that definitely helps out. Now we're going to focus on the Shadow Hawk and pray that the... Ow, that hurt. We're going to pray that the Vindicator can't do much on its turn. Alright, Blood, you should have enough heat capacity right now to fire everything. I'm hoping you do. I'm going to get you to precision strike him, actually. Go for the center torso. If you can core him... Alright. Now we could... Do a death from above attack, because both my legs are still fine. You know, we haven't really done it before, so let's do it. 
Death from above attack. And I lost my right leg in that, and it didn't do as much as I was hoping it would. So we damaged the quick draw for nothing. But it made him incredibly unsteady, and this should knock him down. Unless Phoenix completely misses, in which case, it won't do anything to him. So their Vindicator will go. Ow. Okay, so I'm out of the fight again. First mission back, and I get myself destroyed again. Commander. Ryan, you're running really hot still. I'm hoping that you can melee him and finish him. Well, that knocks him down. Puts him to initiative one, which definitely helps us out. Good to go. Alright, Bloodwind, we're going to have you scoot around to this side here. While you're still running incredibly hot, finish this guy. Copy that. Okay, note to self, do not annoy Bloodwind. That was both torsos and arm and a center torso. Aye, aye. And then Phoenix will try and keep your right side facing towards this Vindicator. Go for that right shoulder. Knock it down to initiative two. Let our guys go first. Yes, Commander. Move order confirmed. All right, Ryan, unload on him. Wasn't a whole lot of damage, but nice enough. And we're now to AC-10 animal on the Enforcer. Perfect! But we thankfully still have a few missiles left. There goes a left arm and left torso. Man, Bloodwind is just ripping mechs apart this time. Definitely going to have to repair the mechs after this. Orders. Position confirmed. Alright, Phoenix will get you down there. So, this is obviously running a little bit longer than usual, guys, but that's okay. They've been shorter the last few. And he's unsteady and lost evasive. But he's going to get to go first on round three, so hopefully he doesn't blow up anything vital. Kind of wincing every time he's lining up for a shot right now. That dragon's not exactly in the greatest shape. Alright, Bloodwind, let's see if you can continue your trend of completely ripping apart chassis. There's another arm and torso gone. I think it still has one medium laser in its head or its chest. Yes, it has one in its head. So he's not completely defenseless. But he's staying close. And Ryan, you're black on AC ammo, but... Oh, that didn't kill him. Waiting for orders. Come on, Phoenix. Melee him to death. Locked on for physical attack. That'll do. That's a kill. Alright, well done, Commander. That should slow down the Oregon Directorate offensive. Mission successful. That was a little painful.
Good amount of sea bills. Gonna have to completely repair the quick draw, the dragon, and fix up the enforcer a bit. Let's see what we have for salvage. Is there anything decent? Small laser plus plus. I think that's about it. Did he drop any jump jet heavies? Just smalls. Well, we're gonna take the crab 27 salvage for sure. And I think we're going to grab the Wolverine, too. Everything else is kind of minuscule. But anyway, guys, with that all said and done, and me out for another three months, and Phoenix out for a month, ow, that hurts. He should be back before we hit the next mission. That's going to do it for this week, guys. So if you liked the video, please consider hitting that like button. If you'd like to join up with the 232, pop up in this or other Let's Plays, just hit that subscribe button, and make sure you're turning your notifications on so you don't miss when a new video goes out. And remember, guys, life is a game, so play to win. And until next time, take care.